Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars, and frankly, I hope to make uh, some of you Holocaust deniers out there vomit in your hats. I'm getting about tired of this. You go on YouTube and you spread a bunch of crap about Nazis and how nice they were in German, uh, Hitler is a vegetarian and all this. I give a flying... I don't care what his culinary habits were. They're not germane to the subject. The only thing that's germane is that he was an evil barbarian. And I'm going to preface this by saying, and not letting Mao Zedong or Stalin off the hook, those are two extremely evil men. See, the problem is that when you, uh, grow government uh, past a certain point, they collectively start thinking, well, they have the right to do more and more to the people when they govern. They treat us like sheep. They treat us like animals. This is why the goal should be for small government. Small government fears the people instead of the other way around. At any rate, uh... You Holocaust deniers, I hope you vomit in your hats, because here we go. I'm going to show you some photos that were typical of those that our troops saw when they invaded Germany. They went and liberated all these death camps, and they saw the murder, murders and things that went on. Most of the photos are from Auschwitz. It doesn't really matter where they're from, as long as they're, these are Nazi je death camps, that's all that really matters. And some of the things you're going to see, you're not going to like. I hope you ball your fucking eyes out. I'm tired of this. And you see the first one, the Nazi soldiers are herding people like cattle. Is, is that enough? No, not for a Holocaust tonight, you're like junkies. You don't care by, unless uh, you get your next fix. You, you're like junkies. All you really care about is your next fix. You want your next fix? Here it goes. Need we say more? Uh, this mostly look like garments from people who were just murdered by these insane bastards. And by the way, you people are for our open borders. You're bringing in insane bastards that are just as evil as the Nazis were or worse. Some of the things that ISIS are doing, is doing are worse than the Nazis would have even done. Welcome to hell. You see this? Uh, this is from inside the camp. All right. Nazis, uh, standing there. Proudly looking over corpses piled in. Just piled and piled and piled. It's a good thing that we can't really make out a lot of details. I think... Anyone would be vomiting in their hats by now. And again, you see the striped suits to the left. Those aren't criminals. They're innocent people that are rounded up by these sons of bitches and killed. I don't want to hear about Jewish conspiracies. I know there's such things with New World Order. I'm not denying any of that. But they're actually uh, the descendants of Nazis. Sick yet? I can barely look at this myself. It's, it's just horrifying. This is what your precious Adolf Hitler did.
some of you love to say that he, well, you know, Hitler, he was a warm, fuzzy guy. He was a vegetarian. Like I said, I don't give a shit what he ate. It is irrelevant. What he did is what matters. Maybe if he ate some meat, he wouldn't have been so mean. This isn't such a good thing either. I don't know if this is propaganda or what this is. You're, uh, I'm reading it for the first time. It says that he, Eisenhower allowed up to a million Germans to die in camps himself. And if that's true, then I spit on his grave. This could be just propaganda. I'll have to look into this one. This one's a new one on me, I'm sorry. And more Jews doing the death march. I wonder how many of you know, not to get off subject, but I wonder how many of you know that Germany's ally, Japan, that their unit 731, one of the things they would do is they would take and cut out a prisoner's organs to see how long he lived no anesthesia they would just cut them out and see how long they would live and that was what japan was germany's main ally in world war ii Are you aware of that <laughs> jews lined up for inspection lined up to be put to death Uh, sickened yet? Piles of bones of innocent men and women and children who were massacred by these bastards. How can you, how can you Holocaust tonight or sit there and say, uh, well, Hitler's this warm, fuzzy guy. He's being misrepresented. How can you say that and you see these piles of just bones from innocent people who are massacred by these bastards? This is what I'm not getting. Okay, uh, here's a picture inside death camp. You think they, uh, were doing nice things to these people? Most barbed wire? Da! And here we go again. Close up of some innocent victims held behind barbed wire. No excuse. No excuse, period. I won't listen to any excuses for this type of barbarism. <laughs> A couple of Jews forced to uh, pile up the bodies of their dead comrades while German soldiers watched. They had enough? Picture of the barracks and guard tower, towers way in the distance, so on. Nazi men and women laughing at no doubt German uh, Jews being killed. Most of these photos I haven't seen before. This is what our soldiers found when they went into Germany. Duh. That's right. When Patton's troops went into Germany, they found these conditions. This is history. It can't be denied. Yet you insane bastards say the Germans didn't do this.
sickening, isn't it? You know, I once heard a story about uh, heroin junkies, and heroin junkies... They were being filed past the corpse of one of their, some junkie that had died from an overdose or whatever. They didn't care. They paid no attention. Uh, you know, people were fainting. They were throwing up with the junkies. Who cares? They didn't care at all. Don't know if the story's true, but it's typical. <laughs> Corpses and an ox cart. Notice how skinny the corpses were. They were being starved before they were killed. And here you go. I don't know whether they lined them up and shot them or what they did. Is this what you people are proud of? Are you proud that the Nazis did this type of thing? And bear in mind, uh, same type of thing is happening in North Korea today. Probably not to this extent. Oh, and uh, your marvelous uh, misleader there in Washington is making friends with Cuba. It isn't as bad in Cuba, but it's the same principle. Your uh, marvelous imam leader named Barack Obama. I wish they had a magnifier on this one. Uh, <laughs> this is real history, folks. These aren't a bunch of photoshopped propaganda photos. Most of the women apparently have just been mowed down. More bodies in a pit. Jews with their backs to barbed wire fence. How would you like to have barbed wire sticking in your fence, your back? I mean, have you people had enough? I just ain't. I am going to Ralph if I continue with this much longer. But I think the point's been made. They have children wearing these uh, suits like they're some kind of a threat. And I'm going to conclude this right here. There's an endless stream of pictures. This is known history. Arbite mocked fry. Work makes you free. They massacred these people. And you, ignorant, ludicrous, Holocaust deniers are out there on YouTube saying that this didn't happen. Well, screw you. See, this is why you have to have a government that's responsible to the people. And uh, they only care about... You know, maintaining the country, the borders, the language, and culture. But you cannot give them this much power. I'm sorry. I don't care who they are. <laughs> so if you haven't had enough, you like the goddamn heroin junkie that I mentioned. The heroin junkies walking by the corpse of their uh, little buddy and seeing the blood on them. Uh, seeing them all dead and black and decaying didn't matter to them. 
while all the people were fainting, crying, that kind of thing. Are you getting picture yet? You Holocaust deniers, you make me sick. Now, I really cannot stomach communism either. I've told you why. The larger the government or any organization, the more corrupt it tends to get. Unless they start, start caring about the individual. This is why we need to get people as independent as possible. We need to revert back to a small government that basically governs the uh, states to an extent, but has very limited power. Because this kind of thing can happen here. It can happen in Europe. It can happen anywhere. Evil is evil. It doesn't matter what your skin color is, where you come from. You're evil. You're evil. That's the way it is. Well, I'm Artifacts from Mars. I gotta go. You Holocaust and liars, you make me sick. Only way I watch your videos is to see just how sick you motherfuckers are. But, uh, it doesn't last long with me. I may watch five or ten minutes. But sometimes it helps to hear what the enemy has to say. So you people are twi twisted and out of your mind. If you actually believe that the Holocaust didn't happen, then check yourself in to a mental hospital. Because you're nuts. Okay? That's the bottom line. If you think this didn't happen, you are nuts. You are crazy. You should be put locked up in an insane asylum until you uh, understand true history. Our troops found this. They found it on the way into Germany. It's history. Get over it. I'm Artifacts of Mars.